Yes, that's right, day three of the Tornado World Championships here at Lake Como, Italy. You're on board with uh, Joe here for Joyrider TV. Swiss John for Joyrider TV. And uh, it's race number six in total, two minutes, 20 to go. Uh, we've probably got 13, 14 knots of breeze and the fleet are lining up. Hope you've been enjoying this uh, unique coverage of this unique event in the Tornado class. Two minutes to go there. Just lining up, two minutes to go. Lining up, two minutes to go, not anymore. One minute, 10, midway down the line. Last race, the pin did us proud. So just uh, waiting for the other boats to go down the line a little bit more so we've got a bit of space to bear away into. Really is poker face sort of stuff here. 30 seconds. Yes, we're getting a good hole down to leeward from where we are. So with, with 10 seconds, we're gonna put on the juice and I should think everyone else will as well. Some chances having a look, see if they can have a chance. 10. Two, one. Yeah, a bit of a bunching up here. So we just need to squeeze across the Austrian team and then we'll be able to bear away a little bit. Yeah, they're pointing a little bit higher. Okay, Johnny, come out and we'll just bear off a little bit for some speed. Gosh, this is flipping exciting stuff yeah we're getting boxed in yeah, if Jürgen yeah if we can clear yeah and JLo's gonna have a big grin on his face Swiss guys are gone yeah not such a great start there we did get pinned in quite a lot Still no chance to tack off. All right. Right. Yeah, let's go. You ready? <laughs> Never has there been more of a need to get the pace on. Okay, pace on and away we go. Yeah, so that was a really tough one. There was a lot of port bias on the start line, um, which meant there was an absolute bun fight on the line. Very tight, much more tight than we'd uh, usually sign up for. Now, I think we've got a little pocket in the middle of the race course where... Um, we seem to have some clean wind. If we can start squeezing up here. Looks like JLo's being knocked quite a lot. If we can avoid getting that side of that knock, then uh, we'd like that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem too bad in the middle of the fleet here at the moment. Next gust is coming up. Of course, the right side of the course has been favoured pretty consistently throughout the regatta so far. 29 tornadoes on the pitch today. All of which with the same objective of getting there before the next one. 
Once again, we'd like to thank uh, Christian Klaus for all of the uh, good advice he's been giving us. If I can remember what all that was uh, when we finished, I'll put that into a nice summary. What's that, Johnny? Keeping good pace with everybody. Else. Okay, yeah, thanks, man. So Johnny says we're keeping good pace with everybody. Always good. Got a few lefties today. So, the general strategy someone did ask, seems like you're just randomly tacking wherever it suits you. What we're having to do is go over, because the right side is very much favoured. You get a wind bend as we get closer in, which gives you a bit of a lift when you tack over onto starboard. So what we're trying to do is get in close to the land on this right side, tack over to starboard in the lift, and then when we get far enough so that then when we tack, the next tack after that will allow us to get on the ley line. That is what we're looking for. The Aussies are just having to duck for the Spaniards there a bit. That's good for us, bad for the Aussies. I think maybe we won't have to duck at all. We'll just lift the hull over their transom. Next boat coming across is Joseph on Germany 100. One of the Windrush catamarans in the fleet. I think we are going to have to duck Joseph. So ducking a bit here. Sheeting in. There we go. Was that a big rock? No, a big lump of wood. Yeah, I suppose rocks don't float so much. <laughs> All right, so this next tack, the timing of it is going to be pretty critical. So I think we'll go past the check boat and then we'll tack. All right, you ready, Johnny? Here we go. Nice tack, Johnny. Yeah, so probably right in the middle of the fleet here. It's going a bit soft up ahead, but uh, not much we can do about that. We only want to put in another two tacks on this upwind leg, no more. And no less are available. Although, if we'd have gone on a little bit further, the boy is uh, that is the right hand one, isn't it? How's it going, man? Just nice to fly the hull over a small powerboat occasionally. Shame we didn't have the head cam, really. All right, can you come out so I can bear away a bit? What do you reckon for fun corner? Are we far enough over to... Yeah, we should go. Yeah? You sure? Okay, let's go now. Yeah. Yes, we lost a bit as we've had to tack again, but um, we might have to duck pre-coat. What do we think? How are we for the lay, Johnny? Yeah, we can go. Yeah, okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
There's one of the finest tornado sailors in all of Europe coming up behind us, if not the world. Yeah, sorry. It's all right. There's Bruno tacking underneath us. Not looking quite so favourable in this race at the moment. Down in the last third of the fleet does mean all the excitement is to come if we can get some good overtaking going on on the downwind legs. Yeah, so like I can't really hear you man. It seems like the middle leg to where you go again. Yeah. Yeah, Okay, so it's going to be... Oh, Alan's fallen off. Oh no. Oh my word, disaster for the Australians. I think that's Alan who fell off, not Kim. These Czech guys going to attack right in front of us. Not quite. Okay, yeah, we'll bear away. Sorry, I was just getting taken up by the, the drama. All right, coming back slightly. Okay, Johnny. And we'll jive we'll jive on the boy if there's space. Okay, you ready? And here we go. Okay. Off on our first downwind uh, of the day, race six, or uh, day four, race two. You okay, John? Well, we'll just put on a little bit more juice there, see what shakes loose. Wow, this really is great to be out in this field of tornadoes. Is that someone with a mask down as well? Someone's mast's fallen down. Someone fell off the boat. It's all drama on the race course in race six. Yeah, obviously giving it some juice. Something's shaking loose. All right, we've got the French guys just behind us, but their halyard snapped or it's come off a bit. Let's hope that our bad boy 95, bad boy 94 holds together. This seems to be the race that is... Uh... Anyway, let's not say it. Let's not say it. Johnny doesn't want to go in too far. Yeah, if it's going to get soft, we'll jibe before it gets soft. But J-Lo is going to stop us jibing at the moment. We just need to get a bit deeper. Okay, we just want to, we don't want to go with anyone, just so they slow us down. Yeah, I know, because he's like that, <laughs> and that's the way he is. All right. We can't just go, because we'll be jibing right in front of him. Although the Austrians are going to go, all right, we're going to go. That's it, Johnny. That's a good jibe. It was a forced jibe. The Austrians didn't give any warning there. Um, now we know that J-Lo is quicker than us downwind. So he's going to get off us. 
and then we can start sailing our own uh, course again. Very exciting times here on Bad Boy 94. Okay, so I think what we'll do, although pre-coat is gonna be in our face if we jibe again too soon, we could jibe and pass behind them if we get a good gust. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here, Johnny. Ready? Okay, so we're just gonna jibe on the gusts. Now that we've got some space, we were just boxed in there on the downwind. This seems to be the race of being boxed in. Um, when you're boxed in, you don't really have any options. So this is downwind number one, race six, Tornado Worlds 2023. All to play for, all to play for. still in contention. Just need to link the dots. There's a good looking, there's a good looking gust up ahead here. Oh well, I think this next gust will jive on. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think so. It seems uh, all right if you yeah, yeah. look at it from the other end. Okay, you ready, Johnny? All right, let's go. Steaming into the right boy. Yeah, steaming into the right boy. Okay. If we get any big gusts, you might have to go on the trapeze. Left boy and then... Yeah. It's a shorter distance. Yeah, we definitely go left. Oh, JLo's just jibed again. Right, we're going to go behind those guys for a better mark rounding. All right, maybe get ready to drop the kite, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where are we? Oh, it's all right. We've got traffic as well. Pull it up again, John. Okay, try it now. Tack line. Okay, ready? Sorry? You think that's good? Uh, 
Okay, there we are into turn two. Coming up on turn three. We're going to jibe on the boy again. And here we go, here comes the jibe. Okay, so, uh, yeah, definitely not what we were looking for. Compared to other people, we didn't have quite such big problems, but um, not a very smooth race. And, uh, yeah, pretty poor from bad to, from start to finish. Is there anything we can learn from this? Probably. All right, we'll go for a jibe just there. All right, here we go. All right, we're on port tack. We're gonna, well, oh. All right, we might have to funk the spinnaker to go around the back of this guy. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this next jibe's gonna have to be the best one of the whole regatta. So we're jibing on to starboard, ready? Yes, Johnny. Yes, Johnny. Yes, Johnny. Go on, Chi and Johnny. Ah, no, Johnny. All right. Uh, it's all right. So I'm just getting excited. That's how much fun catamaran racing is. Thanks for coming along. See you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.